Dedication to hard work. Days spent in the gym working on his game. Hours in the weight room. The focus of a champion, all leading up to the life of Jamal Given. Killed it at the pre-draft workout. I lobbied for the team to take you, but some other short-sighted people in the organization thought differently. I know you belong with this level of competition. Look, you'll be running with the twos against the starters. You make an impression going against the best we got. It'll make us both look good. I want you to play with the chip on your shoulder. When you go to the hoop, I want you to think about every team that passed on you. When you swat a shot on defense, I want you to think about every player taken ahead of you. You do that, you prove you belong. Spots in this league are hard to come by, son. You gonna get one? I know ain't nobody gonna give me anything. I'm here to take what's mine. So, here we go. Who? Oh, what's up, Spark Nation? Rare Spark here, and I'm coming at you with another chapter of the life of Jamal Givens. This is the tryout for the New Orleans Pelicans. And uh, we're going up against Anthony Davis in this one. But uh, I just wanted to give you the reason why I chose the Pelicans real quick. The reason I chose the Pelicans for Jamal Givens is because I felt like Anthony Davis and Jamal could be a great front court tandem. You know, Davis is becoming such an elite player in the NBA today. And then you add somebody like a 7'3 post player in Jamal Givens. And I think it, it'll just make an amazing tandem. So I think... That's the reason why I chose Jamal, and uh, so, I mean, chose the Pelicans for Jamal, rather. And so that was my reasoning behind it. What is John Solomon's doing right here? Look at this. It started dribbling in the corner with 11 seconds left. He lets it go down to one, puts up a terrible shot. Jamal gets his uh, the, the offensive rebound, puts it right back up, and he gets his first point and rebound of the tryout. Now he has two rebounds. Tyreek Evans puts up a terrible shot. Jamal comes down with the rebound. Looking to get it to the point guard, Nate Walters. Nate Walters conveniently gets it right back to Jamal Givens, who goes into post-up mode. Tries to post up Omir Ashik. Puts up the jump hook. Misses it, but Jamal's per perseverance makes him not give up. Gets his own rebound, puts it right back up. And now he has four points, four rebounds here in the tryout. So he's looking good so far. Hoping to make this squad. And uh, Drew Holiday looking to... Find Anthony Davis down low, but Rhino, Ryan Anderson with a nice block here on Anthony Davis. Not very often do you see a Ryan Anderson block. Jamal gets the ball down low. Tough shot, but still gets it to go. Powers his way through, and now he has 6.5 rebounds. Finding Luke Babbitt at the elbow. Misses the three. Ryan Anderson gets the offensive glee round. Misses it. Jamal Givens powers his way through after an offensive rebound and gets another bucket. So he has eight points, six rebounds here in the tryout, 42 seconds left. So Jamal looking good. Six rebounds in under five minutes here at the tryout. Eric Gordon puts up a terrible three. Jamal Givens comes down with another rebound. Seven rebounds here, 30 seconds left in the tryout. Nate Walters setting up Luke Babbitt who pump fakes, gets it to John Selman's the ball hog. Pump fakes, step back, terrible shot, but he somehow gets that one to go. Not sure how he did that, but 20 seconds left here. Time winding down. Drew Holiday looking to run out the clock. And, uh, you know, the second string is looking good against the starters with an eight-point lead here. Tyreek Evans gets the ball in the corner, gets it to Drew Holiday, who puts up a terrible shot. Jamal coming down with his eighth rebound, gets it to John Salmons, who throws it up, misses it, and that'll about do it for the tryout. So I'll leave you guys here with the rest of the story. Rare Spark out. Yo, rookie. Huh? Some of my colleagues thought it might have been a fluke. What? Said there's no way an undrafted rookie could be that good. All right, so what do you think? I think you can do it every day of the week. You sound like a smart man. And the smart man has some advice for you. What's that? Tell your agent to stay by his phone. That's right. If there's any way we can get you here, we will.
move, man. What are you doing? We got our foot in the door. The Pelicans have offered you a 10-day deal. Why not a year? Because you're an undrafted, unproven commodity. But they saw enough to take a flyer on you. So you have exactly 10 days and 240 freaking hours to show that you belong. You perform? You got a shot at a guaranteed deal for the rest of the season. We both live to breathe another day. You don't. You got a shot at being last in a long line of might events. And I'm probably out on the street, too. Living in this rat hole. Hold up. Rat hole? This is all I can afford. Because you didn't get me drafted. <laughs> Let's call it a charming fixer-upper. Now pack your bags. We're going to the show. Yeah, boy. I'm going to the league. I got my foot in the door. And I'm a... Kick this sucker down, man. <laughs> you better. I don't want to ruin any more suits sitting on these vermin-infested couches of yours. Man, this is my house he's talking about. Finally. I'm in the league. You did well in the workout and in the scrimmage. He's a baller. You give him a legit shot, and he's going to make the most of it. I mean, when it comes down to crunch time, there's no one... Ten days, my man. We'll see if he can swim with the big fish. If he does, he might have a shot to be signed for the rest of the year. Rick might even find himself a spot in the rotation. If not, son, he's back on the streets. You ready? I'm ready, willing, and able, sir. You'll see. Good. Get out of here. You too. Yeah.